Well, good afternoon and welcome to Overdy Vest Nurseries on a beautiful day in early summer. And here on the nursery where the temperature's nice, the sun's just breaking through the clouds and the birds are singing in the trees behind me, it's a really lovely opportunity to take you out here into the nursery and to show you something of all of the wonderful plants that you might think about growing in and around your home. And if you'd like to find out more about the plants that we grow and those that are available through a network of partnering garden centers in our region, that's the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic States, I'd like to invite you to think about clicking and subscribing to our channel because then as we post new videos, which we're doing all the time, you'll find that they will turn up automatically in your feed and you'll be able to then find out about all of these gorgeous plants. Lots of flowering shrubs, of course. We've got evergreens, lots of really nice perennials and ornamental grasses, but also some wonderful climbing plants too. And when you're talking about flowering, climbing vines, it's very hard to think of anything else except clematis. And if you're looking for a really exciting, deep, dark, purple, red, double flowering clematis, then let me introduce you to Clematis Charmaine, one of the varieties that was, that was raised by Raymond Everson on his clematis nursery on Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Here's a plant that grows about six to eight foot high and is ideal for growing on a trellis, up an arbor, across archways, basically any form of trellis or structure where you're able to let it grow up and clamber. And then you'll find that as it grows and it starts to flower first in early summer, it'll produce these really rich, sumptuous, velvet red flowers that are so spectacular. It's a variety that's hardy to zone four, so it'll grow anywhere within our region. And the important thing to mention about clematis, particularly the varieties that we offer, and you'll find lots of them here on this channel. If you scroll through, you'll get all sorts of different colors and forms. The important thing to know about them is that they love to grow in a sunny, well-drained position. Good drainage is very important. And again, if you scroll through some of the videos, we'll give you tips on how to plant and look after them too. This is a variety that was introduced by Raymond in 2015, and we just love this wonderful, rich coloration that comes with the flowers. Now, what's interesting about this variety is that it will have three different types of flowers all on the same plant. First of all, on the young juvenile growth, you're going to get single flowers like this one. So when it's growing strongly, producing lots of strong young growth, you're going to get predominantly single flowers. Then as the growth matures and the plant becomes a little bit older, you're going to get some semi-double flowers, which as you see, have a lot more overlapping tepals on the flower. And eventually, as it becomes even more mature, it's going to have double flowers on it with even more tepals and larger flowers too. It's part of what Raymond calls his regal doubles collection. And this particular variety with its rich, deep red flowers is really absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's easy to grow, it's hardy, it's really not very difficult at all. But one little tip that I will pass on before I end, and that is that this is a variety that will be pruned in the early part of the spring. And when you have it growing and it's established well in the ground and making a really good root system, then you reduce the growth by about a third. You just chip off when, of course, at that time of year it won't have any leaves on it. You just trim back the shoots that are up towards the top third, leaving about two thirds of the older woodier growth at the base. And it's from that older growth that you're going to get flower buds then that are going to grow out. And they're the ones that are going to have the semi-double and double flowers. If you prune it hard back, and there's nothing wrong with that, it's going to produce lots of young juvenile growth. And that's where you're going to get predominantly single flowers. 
but when it's growing strongly and luxuriantly, you can look forward to having quite literally three different types of flowers, always the same color, but three different types of flowers all in the same plant. So this is Clematis Charmaine, part of the Raymond Everson collection of Clematis, a really gorgeous, deep, sumptuous, dark red flowering vine.